Okay, hello, Uranium friends. Happy Tuesday. So some ASX names we're going to be taking a look at. Just a bird's eye view, just like I did on big board names uh, over the weekend. Uh, let's take a look at some ASX. So a couple of things. I have some positions. I have Deep Yellow. I have Bannerman. I have Silex. I have Lotus. And I have Peninsula and, uh, and Powdered. Uh, those are my positions. Um, I don't really trade these ASX names because it's just cost prohibitive to do so. So uh, I have some positions that I've taken earlier on in the 2021 area, and I'm just kind of sitting on them. Uh, if some sort of crazy opportunity comes in, uh, aka like global atomic type of situation, uh, maybe I'll be um, adding, but you know, it's, it's cost prohibitive for me to trade this stuff. So, uh, aura energy, uh, quarterly bull flag, you know, um, a lot of things going on with Sweden. Who, who the heck knows? We know that cycle bottom guy, uh, is an aura energy guy, but look, it's, it's a quarterly bull flag, uh, and it's got a pretty distinct range, uh, from let's just say 15 cents to, you know, 32, uh, that's what it's doing. You know, this market cap, it's so untradeable. I can see it on the U.S. side. There's basically no volume for me. But, you know, it's still a quarterly bull flag. It's still a weekly range, uh, monthly range. And the weekly is not revealing anything either. So, you know, it's it's just battling at the moment. This, this whole EMA stack, the whole moving averages, and this 200-day moving average here. So, you know, Aura Energy, I'm probably not going to touch it. Uh, Good for you guys that uh, go for it. Um, alligator. So, yeah, a quarterly bull flag, right? So, you know, just like um, and we're doing these bird's eye views because we're just trying to measure strength, right? So uh, as bad as everybody thinks it's been since November of 2021, well, look, it's it's still a quarterly bull flag. And it's it's healthy. I mean, these uh, have, the majority of these names in the uranium space haven't even – Touch the 38% retracement. So alligator, same deal. You know, these small market caps, very difficult, again, for me to trade. So uh, Bannerman, a, a favorite of everybody's, right? So uh, Bannerman is also a quarterly bull flag, 38% retracement. But, you know, we could we could just kind of get a little bit of a closer look. And you could say, okay, well, different than um, the other names we just looked at. Well, you know, Bannerman is, uh, it's had its second quarter where it's starting to roll up. And you, and if you looked at my other video uh, on the big board names on the New York Stock Exchange and whatnot, uh, I was identifying this, right? So CCJ, you know, everybody wants to be like CCJ, which is already rolled up and confirmed it's uh, bull flag. Uh, you know, UEC and, and NXC are a bit behind and they're starting to look like this. So Bannerman is starting to get that roll over type of look and con roll up type of look actually with its second quarterly uh bar that's gone that, that uh, that's gone so at the moment you know we could say that the quarterly higher low at a dollar 19 aussie is, is set at the moment okay so uh a better look here you know it's overtaken its 200 day moving average i believe right let's just get a look here zoom in yeah so look bannerman's gotten over its 200 day moving average uh all of these moving average moving averages are curling up uh, and they're stacking. So, the, the, you know, I, I do personally like, I, I pay attention to these EMA, uh, the moving averages, because I like when they stack up like that and act as support or resistance. It kind of gives you a little bit of a um, a look. So, yeah, a uh, can, can it pull back into this moving average stack and um, go on from there? It's possible. You know, the, the, RSA, the RSI is fine. Uh, the month, you know, all your RSIs are good. You're still in a quarterly bull flag. So, you know, Bannerman looks fine here. looks a little bit better, uh, than some other names, because again, it's got that, um, it's got that second quarterly candle, uh, that's moved up and, and out of the range that it was trading in for, you know, almost a year or so. And it's starting to test uh, these other stair, stair step uh, top. So, you know, Bannerman's looking a little bit better. A little, little positivity there. Boss Energy. Everybody wants to be like Boss Energy. So um, this uh, chart looks very similar to, to, to CCJ, right? So it's a bull flag, quarterly bull flag that is now confirming. We're just going to wait for follow through. 
And just like CCJ, we have some RSI divergence, but you know, the divergence here is much more pronounced because, you know, it's on the quarterly. It is on the monthly. It's on the weekly, right? And it's on the daily. So, you know, there there's RSI divergence, or, you know, through a lot of the, the, the time frames. So, um, you know, it's something to be aware of, you know, uh, Again, you know, I, I don't even have a position in Boss. I had sold out of it a while back and uh, probably regrettably so, right? So it's strongest name on the ASX, no doubt. Deep yellow. Uh, quarterly bull flag, 38% retracement. Everything looks okay. Again, like um, Bannerman, we've gotten our second quarterly candle and it's moving up. And, you know, Deep yellow has taken out a, a bit more of the range then Bannerman has, right? So DPL has taken out these previous quarters. Uh, Bannerman has not. So <clears throat> in that metric, uh, a bit stronger. But, you know, if you look at Bannerman, well, it did. It tapped a 38% retracement also. So, you know, in, in that metric, DPL is a bit stronger as far as taking out um, a couple more range highs uh, on this uh, quarter on these quarterlies than Bannerman has. But, you know, it looks good. Uh, there's, you know, overtaking <clears throat> the 200 day moving average. And we have these moving averages starting to be stacked up and acting as support. Now, these are the kind of things that you want to see. Um, you know, can we see a, um, you know, you know, a pullback all the way back into this, into this range here. It is perfectly healthy for this stock at the moment. So, uh, DPL looks good, strong quarterly bull flag. Uh, needs to confirm, obviously. Uh, Elevate, uh, you know, I don't mess with this one either. Um, <clears throat> I know I see a lot of guys uh, post about it. So, you know, yeah, it's got a quarterly bull flag as well. It's got a, a, a nice candle. It's working its way again through the 200-day moving average. Uh, not not bad at all, you know. It's low market cap and on the ASX. I, I really, I can't touch it. Uh, Lotus, <clears throat> uh, same deal. Uh, you know, quarterly bull flag, 23% retracement. It, it, not not as uh, pronounced as a turn as Deep Yellow and Bannerman, but it's getting there, you know. And I think I posted this on Twitter today, this chart. So, you know, there is a, uh, a weekly rising wedge that we have to be aware of. And um, nothing says that it's got, you know, the, you know, these are notoriously bearish patterns, but they don't have to be. Um, but, you know, back to the same deal, right? We've gotten over a 200-day moving average. It's had a couple back tests in it. You have the averages curling up and stacking and acting as support. So, you know, Lotus looks a little bit better uh, than it used to, right? So, quarterly bull flag. Paladin, <clears throat> same deal. Quarterly bull flag. Uh, obviously, I probably have a wedge in here, too. Uh, we'll look at that momentarily. But, yeah, a second quarter where there's an up candle. Um, <clears throat> which is good, 23% retracement, you know. So you, you can tell. I mean, we know what the strong uh, ASX names are. We can just tell by looking at these charts, and they're all kind of doing the same thing. Yeah, so there's a weekly uh, rising wedge here, too, uh, to be aware of, you know, not to be all end all. But again, you know, a lot like um, the character change with Cameco, uh, this these past uh, couple of months or since the beginning of the year or whatnot, um, you know these you, you want to see these grinds up uh, because there's a lot of supports that get formed along the way, and it's just kind of shows that there's more in a way of accumulation happening here than all this crazy volatility. So, you know, it doesn't mean that you know it's go time. I have no idea, but you know we're we're just looking at a bird's eye view here. So Peninsula. You know, UEC um, news crushed this one, uh, but even then, you know, it was, I guess you could say, it, it really wasn't even that much of a, uh, it, it had lost its bull flag status anyway. So even before uh, the news with UEC, uh, this this name was very weak and still continues to be very weak. Uh, so a little bit of positivity here uh, with this getting through 
uh, this capitulation dump on this weekly chart, um, but it's got a lot of work to do. Uh, everything up here is acting as is going to act as resistance. All these moving averages, all of this volume profile, you know, and it, so we're starting to see just through quarterly bull flag or the quarterly charts, you can see who's stronger and who's not. All right, so it's that's a little bit of the purpose of the bird's eye view, right? So, <clears throat> Silex Systems. Uh, same deal, right? Uh, this is a great grind up. You've got a quarterly bull flag working right now. Very, very strong name. Pretty hot on the RSI on the quarterly. Uh, you know, you got the same deal with the RSI divergence here, right? On the monthly. Let's see how, how deep this divergence goes. Uh, okay, so, you know, not as crazy as the uh, boss energy. I mean, boss is daily, weekly monthly and quarterly RSI divergence. Now, I've always said I'm not an RSI trader, but that is definitely something that I'm paying attention to. Not the biggest deal for me because I'm not really playing boss. Um to be honest with you, again, because of my uh the cost per it's very cost prohibitive for me to trade. So, uh back to Silex, back to the monthly, a little bit of divergence there, quarterly bull flag strong. Right, it hasn't even come down to the 23% retracement. As a matter of fact, even if it gets down here, it's still going to be very healthy. You got the 12 EMA right over there, so you know some good support here uh, with the moving average and the fib retracement. But you know you've got some, you got a bit of a a, a pocket in the volume profile. Uh, you know, if if you're a volume profile trader, which is kind of like order flow. Um, you know, you kind of you, you might be looking down here in the dollar thirty six range to be the, the spot where it might pick up support again with the volume profile. But you know, Silex is absolutely very strong, absolutely a quarterly bull flag, and but it's running pretty hot. So <clears throat> that's ASX uh, in a nutshell. You know, if we look at you know just to just to show you, here's a, here's a very big difference, right? So ninety two energy. I mean, there's nothing here. This is just just constantly going down so i mean when you if you if you're trying to figure out charts and whatnot and you want to see what's stronger what's not you know this is just a quick easy way to look at it and then you once you see uh the names that are showing like if if i'm trying to figure out if i never had a position or knew nothing about the asx but i do want to get some australian uranium exposure well give me the quarterly charts let me see which which uh charts are showing strength and then i can go ahead and research them so uh, you know, charts serve many purposes, and that could be one of them. So ASX, some strong names on the on the quarterly bull flags. Everybody wants to be like Boss Energy, right? Uh, over and out.